Dior Johnson has been regarded as one of the best point guards in his class for a while now, but he's transferred like seven or eight times already. And his most recent transfer was to a school called Corona, but ever since then we haven't heard anything about him. There was also some rumors going around saying that he probably wouldn't even play this season, so nobody knows what he's gonna do. So what is he doing and where is he? What's good guys? Hope you're having a blessed day. Just wanna drop by and say at the end of this video, we're also gonna have some news Matt in the building to talk about, and if you're new this channel and love basketball content what are you doing hit that subscribe button join the family road to 100k and leave a like for more and without further ado let's dive straight into it it was announced a couple months ago that dior johnson was going to transfer from oak hill academy without even playing a game there even to this day that move makes absolutely no sense because we don't even know what went on it just looks like and all we know is that he got tired of the school and wanted to try something else everyone thought when he made this announcement to leave there was going to be some new information leaked about how he didn't get along with the coaching staff or just something went on. But however, that just wasn't the case and even to this day, it's an awkward situation. And Oak Hill is one of the best schools in the country for getting players ready for the next level, so once again, it's mind boggling. But anyways, moving forward and continuing on, you get the point he transferred from there. Ultimately, he wound up deciding to transfer to Corona Sentinel High School. And with all these other big time recruits like Mikey Williams, Chet Holgram, Jaden Hardy, Monty Bates, and many more playing, we haven't heard anything about Johnson. Will this hurt him and will this make him fall in the rankings? I don't know just yet. Let me know what you think in the comments section. I know what you're wondering. Yo, why haven't we seen him play? Well, the answer to that question is very simple. He's playing in California. That's where his high school is and they're on a major shutdown. I believe as of when I'm making this video, they're not even allowed to play sports until February or March. That's also another big reason as to why Mikey transferred to North Carolina that not many people talk about. We're not here to talk about Mikey. We're here to talk about Dior, so let's continue on. You would think the answer as to why he's not playing is for what I just told you. Oh Matt, he's not playing because they're not allowed to play. Well, that's actually not one of the main reasons. Right now, and as to when I'm making this video, we don't even know if he's going to play this year because of something that happened earlier. A lot of people have actually forgot that one of the quote-unquote reasons he left Oak Hill was because he had a foot injury. Long story short, he wound up being in a cast, left the program. The coach had no idea what was going on or if he was going to come back and you know how it ended. He low-key kind of did them dirty without even giving him a two weeks notice or even a day notice. He just up and left. Like I've said though many times when talking about this kid, he just does what he wants and he's living his best life. I would like to see him be more decisive in the future, but hey, it is what it is. With him transferring schools, a lot of people think when the season starts for California, whenever that happens or if it happens, he'll be back in playing. Hopefully that is the case, but that might not even happen. Still do that foot injury, it's being reported that he's having some trouble with it, but he's on pace to recover fully. If you're an athlete, you know how it goes. As long as you're 60 to 70%, you're gonna go out there and play. Or at least try to play, and that's what he's going to do. Earlier today on his Instagram story, he put, y'all miss me, huh, with question marks and put sight nod just plain. And then right under that, he said, y'all gonna see me back out there this month. I don't know what he means by that fully, whether he's going to be practicing or playing, but the way he said it, it sounds like he's gonna be playing. I know some of you may be wondering, how's he gonna to play if they can't play till February, but the schools in California can go to other schools in other states, I believe so. If I'm being honest, I just want to see this guy go out there and play because he's been transferring way too much, been doing too much talking. I just want to see him shut up and get some buckets. We really haven't even seen him play in the year, so he's had to get better. Well, at least I hope he's got better. I'm not going to say he's got worse, but as an athlete who's had some major injuries, it definitely affects you. You lose some of that athletic ability, you're not as fast and quick, and it may alter other parts of your game. Can I sit up here and tell you for sure what's going to happen with him and when he's going to play? No, and the reason for that is because I don't even think he knows. He's always changing his mind at the strangest time and it always catches us off guard. That's who he is and at least he's sticking to his roots and sticking to his brand about being different. As always, I'm curious. Drop your comments down below and let me know what you think about Dior Johnson. Is he going to come out hooping? Is he going to be rusty? Let me know, man. I would normally wrap up the video right there, but we got some news I want to throw in there at the end and it's pretty pretty major and big if I have to say so myself. So okay, around a couple of days ago I made a news video and we was talking about should high school basketball players be required to wear masks in games. It's still an ongoing debate and people don't know what to think about the situation. Like I said, I think they shouldn't be because that's utterly ridiculous because you're touching the same basketball so what is a mask going to do? But coincidentally enough, right after I made this video, North Carolina's governor has made a law where he's requiring high school athletes to wear masks while playing basketball. 
all. Of course, this got people heated and furious, so let's check out some of the comments. To start it off, we got Mikey. He said, LOL, I'm not playing then. Quincy 4K said, finna be on the court passed out, and that is fact. That's hard to breathe without a mask. Can you imagine wearing one? Joe King said, not a trippin'. Under the Goat said, I mean, all that matters is we can still hoop, and that's facts. At least we can still hoop, and last but not least, this is the last comment I have to read. J. Lou said, man, I can barely breathe with it on walking in a store, and they expect people to just play basketball with it on shaking my head i guess let's just see what happens i'm just gonna leave this video off with this that's absolutely crazy to me let me know in the comment section what you think about that and if you're a hooper in north carolina my prayers and thoughts go out to you but hey man with all this being said that's gonna wrap up this video hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned something if you're new to the channel what are you doing join the family hit that subscribe button leave a like for more road to 100k love you guys let's be great i'm out y'all peace